major takeaways for you from first day camp? You know, uh, we got to get in shape. Uh, I think, you know, football shape is different from the strength and conditioning shape. And so I'm um, just ramping up for the next couple of weeks in, into football shape. Uh, I thought from an execution standpoint, we did pretty good. Just had uh, probably a couple penalties and one turnover. And so I thought from an execution standpoint, we were pretty solid. And so just getting those guys in shape, because you can see that, uh, um, you know, their heads is down a little bit. And, and from a conditioning standpoint, plus it's 150 degrees out there. And so, <laughs> but uh, I thought we did pretty well. Coach, in the offseason, you talk a lot about Daniel and his involvement in the offense coming into this year. Uh, how do you feel like his development has progressed over the offseason, and where is he at now? You know, he, I think he's he's gotten a lot stronger, uh, you know, from a physical standpoint. Um, you know, he's not guessing anymore, and, and uh, he's more anticipating uh, things that are happening. He's grown a lot um, uh, just from a maturity standpoint. Not, not from, I'm, not, I'm just saying from a personality, just from a professionalism standpoint, I think he's going to have a great year. What kind of role do you envision for him this year next to Rashad and Chip? You know, those three guys are going to have to go and battle it out. Uh, we know what uh, Chip and we know what Rashad can do. And so it's it's great because that room is, is built on competition and I think he can fit right in. Um, the, the good part is, is you know, running backs uh, probably get hit every single play. And so the season's going to be long, and so somebody's going to get dinged up here and there. And so they just got to fill in for each other. Um, uh, like Rashad said, from a all all around back, that's why they try to um, make sure that I can be recruited and, and uh, develop in that way. And so uh, they can do it all. And so um, everybody has their strengths, and, and some have their weaknesses, which we're trying to work on. But um, I like all three of them. How do you kind of set expectations for Rashad and Chip, just given the years they had last year? I mean, Rashad was 10 yards tear. It was ridiculous. How, how do you kind of just go about setting expectations? You know, the expectations, we don't go by stats. Yeah. We're going by the professionalism and, and uh, paying attention to detail and doing things right, you know, um, being 10 minutes early to everything that they have to, just from a prefer, uh, professionalism standpoint. Uh, in the classroom, uh, when we're going over plays, making sure we're detailed better than we were last year. So. From steps on the field, uh, from a practice structure uh, into the classroom, I'm just trying to make sure that they are better than they were last year, and then we'll see, hopefully, see the production on the field. I know you're impressed with just how studious they were with you. How have you kind of noticed their preparation, getting ready for? I think it's season? getting better and better, yeah. uh, and 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 it's contagious too, because everybody sees those guys that the, the kind of year that they had, and then the professionalism, and you can see the people around them, wondering what what's going on with them, and and. I think it's contagious, and their personalities are not rah-rah guys. You know, they're guys that uh, um, take care of business, and so hopefully that uh, rubs off on other players, and, and we have a great year. Coach, what do you make of uh, Case Hatch, and, and what do you think he's going to help uh, do for the for the running backs on? on the you field? know, he's that Swiss Army knife. He can do everything. You know, come out of the backfield, he can catch the ball, and he's dangerous uh, because he's a big, fast guy. You know, we got to slow him down in the practice because he's going to knock himself out. But um, from a physicality standpoint, he does everything right. And so um, I, I wouldn't be surprised that he could come in the backfield and carry the ball just as well everything. But our guys trust him and, and uh, you know, his assignments and the way he's going to go about his business. And so he plays a huge part in our offense. How helpful is it having an offensive line that returns all starting five and is a little bit more working together and a little bit more experienced together? Oh, absolutely. You know, from a communication standpoint, you know, uh, just from a uh, pass protection uh, scheme, you know, just the communication and, and people talking and, and what their flaws are and trying to fulfill uh, our backs making the linemen right sometimes and, and, and those things. And then the trust uh, value of it. But uh, I think it's going to be huge. And, and our guys get along. And, and that's. And that's a huge component of our success, I think. Coach, you also talked about uh, Chip's prowess in pass pro and his hands. Uh, where is he at as a route runner right now, and how are you looking to implement him in the pass game? You know, I, I think every single day we're going to work on, on Chip uh, with his route running, you know, being that option guy out of the backfield. And then I think he's uh, a devastating um, blocker, uh, yeah. especially with linebackers, because actually he's pretty much the same size as me, linebacker coming through. And then, you know, with his hands, and, and that's a work every day, and he goes about his business working, and, and uh, um, he always is telling me, Coach, I, I, I'm good. And, and, I, and yeah, you're good. We're going to get better every day. And, and there's things that I think every back needs to work on, but he knows what he needs to do to be that premier back, and he goes about his business doing that. So. Hey, Coach, Yaden Daniels has gotten a lot bigger, a lot stronger, and 
has become a bigger threat in the run game. What has that done for your backs in terms of read option and RPO? Absolutely. You know, now you have to take one guy uh, at the line of scrimmage and somebody over the top to make sure that uh, Jaden doesn't get out. And so that kind of softens everything up in the inside for our backs. And that's a good thing. You know, um, uh, we talked to Jaden about, you know, making sure that he makes the right reads. Um, the guys are, I know the guy, the opponents are worried about our guys uh, carrying the football um, because they're big physical guys too. With him on the outside and, and um, reading those uh, uh, plays, I, th I think that um, it's going to just be a, a different dimension to our offense. Last year, the message you said to your guys was to earn Jaden's trust. Uh, what's the message this year and how do you feel like they've been able to do that? I think the same thing, making sure that you're there for him the whole time. Because really, it's him and the running back in the backfield on every play. You know, and so the guy that's right next to him, making sure that, you know, I'll trust him when I run the ball, I'll trust him when I protect the ball. And if you need me, I'll get you in the pass. And so I think that's a huge communication um, uh, aspect with Jaden and the running backs. Uh, the good thing I, I see just from an uh, outsider's uh, standpoint is they walk into the locker room together. Uh, you know, they come out of the locker room. Uh, at the same time, so you know that trust level is is there. Kind of a, a two part for you. Uh, one, Rashad put out a lot of strength. He looked a lot bigger than he did last year already. What do you think that's going to add to his game? And then two, with the strength and conditioning program being back, what do you think that did for your guys in, your, in their development? You know, I, I think that's that's huge. Um, you know, especially in this next three four weeks. You know, you're going to lose muscle mass and just because of the heat and and the running around and things like that. But um, Rashad being that much more physical. Um, that's scary, uh, and you know, especially with when he's when he's kept his speed, and then uh, you know, Chip is just the brick house guy, and um, but he's a physical guy in nature, and so I just think, and, and you got to understand that Daniel and Chip are only 18 year old kids, you know, and so now they're becoming uh, men and, and grown men, and so um, that's going to be scary too. But I, I just like the way they go about their business. Rashad and, and Jackson seem to have a special kind of bond there. When, <laughs> when did you first notice that those two had gotten kind of close? You know, uh, because Rashad came in, I think, in the summer, um, and Daniel and Chip were in January. And so he was a little bit uh, back in the playbook. And, and we all know Jackson is the most smartest guy in the room. And so it, 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 was, it was funny because Jackson just kind of moved his way to Rashad, and he would give him the pointers and, and, th and things like that. And so I think that relationship uh, built from that summer of them working together on the playbook. And then, then I, the next thing I see that they're riding in the car together to practice and then, you know, everything else. So. Coach Edwards talked about obviously fitting out people, trying to defend the run game with what you guys have them coming back. But how do you feel with, with the dominance and the strength of the running backs, even from a short season last year, helps the growth of the receivers in the offense? You know, we, we understand that uh, because of the strength, that's a, uh, catch 22 because they're going to bring people in the box and so now um, we're going to have to be effective out on the, out on the perimeter and, and we know what Jaden can do and our receivers are going to have to live up to that because they're going to be called on in certain points too so um, I think their growth uh, every single day knowing that we're going to have to get the ball out um, because if we do that and then it softens up for our guys inside so um, I just told our guys in the, in the running back room to make sure that you're patient um, because Maybe we got six guys to block and they got nine in the box. I mean, we're going to be out, man, you can't get 10 yards every play. And so um, just being patient with the receivers and, and, and helping them grow as well. Coach, you've got so much talent on your depth chart this year. You know you want to keep guys with the hot hand, confidence up. How are you going to go about deploying guys in certain spots and what's going to benefit the team the most? You know, I just, I just think that um, me being a running back is why I kind of understand uh, you need the ball in order to – uh, make sure that you have a rhythm. Um, we're going to make sure that those guys get in rhythms. It, it could be series, it could be plays, it could be whatever it is. And then once it gets going, like I said before, whoever has a hot hand, the good thing about it is those three guys are very unselfish. So if they understand that that guy got a hot hand, we're going to feed him. And so there isn't that ego that they fight about uh, all the time. And you can see in practice, they'll substitute themselves out for the, each other. And that's a rare commodity, I mean, uh, in a backfield, because most of the guys are for themselves. And, and I'm very, very lucky to have those three and, and the other three, especially uh, younger guys, uh, to make up that room. And so hopefully they'll work together and, and complement each other. Coach, DJ was at on defense today. Uh, is there going to be him coming back in later practice? You know, I, th I, I don't know. You know, DJ came in um, to Arizona State as a defensive player. 
Um, and then uh, he was a returner, and then we liked the, the ball in his hands, and then he came to the offensive side. But I think he feels that his best uh, attribute is to be on the defensive side of the ball. And so uh, Coach Edwards is very good about letting guys uh, uh, play where they feel most good, because that's where they're going to give 100% to. And so he's on that side of the ball right now. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.